again, readers! It's me, Reinsky, and welcome to another special episode of Out of the Book Box. And in this episode, I will be unboxing three packages. Because, as you all know, if I unboxed more than three packages, this is going to be a way too long of an episode. And we don't want a repeat of that. Am I right? <laughs> so, oh, by the way, if you are new to this channel, please, please, please do consider in subscribing to my channel and hitting that notifications button, or rather that cutesy little bell button, if you may, for more uh, special episodes such as this one, and or for more book reviews for 2023. Now, without further ado, let's get to the first one. And honestly speaking, I forgot which books these are, but I am pretty sure these are special editions from Waterstones. So, enough chitter chattering, and let's just get to unboxing. So, <laughs> if you all notice, I was trying to look for that string that I could just pull so that I could open this box, but oh, didn't have one. Oh my god, I saw those edges. I just saw those edges, the top edges, I believe. So, let's just get to the first one. And, <gasps> I knew it. It's Lose You to Find Me. Oh, by the way, this came out today here in North America, so... Perfect timing for a shoot of this one. So this is by Eric J. Brown. And even though I was rejected to be given an arc, <laughs> a digital arc of this one, I'm still going to promote it. Oh, so yeah, this is a signed special edition. And look at that spot gloss. I love that. This is embossed too. Yeah, so that's the front, and this is the spine. Oh, it has spot glossing too. And this is the back. Mm -hmm. So I guess this is the synopsis. Just pause that video. And here we go. Let's get to the edges. Oh, the, they're just solid edges. I believe this is purple, right? Hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. Just solid edges all throughout the book the edges of the book and let's see the sign or the autograph oh there we go oh there you go and um if you look if you look back to some of my book reviews uh, which is uh and one of those is all that's left in the world i have loved that book actually i enjoyed reading that book and <gasps> Oh, oh, so this is an extract of Book Talk Favorites. Really? Okay, this is a Book Talk Favorite? Uh, oh, this is when they met. Okay, so <laughs> that's it. So yeah, so this will still go inside our UV sanitizer. Now, let's get to the second one, which is... um. Mm hmm I knew it. So, this is Gwen and Art are not in love, which is quite, a, I believe, a retelling of King Arthur. So, it's an early release in the UK, or rather in Europe, I guess. But this is going to be released here in North America around November, I believe, because I have a digital arc of this one on that galley, so... I don't know, should I read this one? Should I consider this one as, like, an advanced reader copy? Perhaps? Mayhap? We'll see. So, I love the foiling. 
doesn't have spot gloss, just like um the other one, um Lose You to Find Me, and yeah, but I still love it. Oh, oh, it has spot glossing. I just noticed that. Or this is spot glossing, <laughs> but just it which is just a little bit goldy or something. And this is the spine. There y'all go, and mm -hmm. okay. So if y'all want to know the synopsis, this is it. Just pause this video right here. Okay, and then here we go. <gasps> I love that solid pink. Mm -hmm. Solid pink all throughout the book. Just solid pink. Is it signed though? Let me see. No, it's not signed, unfortunately. Oh, ooh, I love that. So historical or something. What do you call that again? I guess it is historical or something of the sort. <gasps> oh my god, I love that. Will that be on uh, like the arc, I guess, that I'll be reading? Huh, I wonder. Hmm. So yeah. Oh, we still have a sticker here. Okay, so yeah. So that is it for this. So, now that this package is done, let's just get to the next one. Ole. So, now that we are done unboxing this package, let's just get to the next one. Woo! So, Yes, it's another Waterstones special edition, and once again, I forgot which one this is. <laughs> Child, because I believe I already have, like, unboxed my special edition of In the Lives of Puppets, so I don't think this is going to be that. So, enough chitter chattering, let's just get to unboxing this one. So, <laughs> that was pretty quick, or a lot quicker, because it has that, like, a lining that I could just pull, like what I've, um, told you people. So, here we go. I wonder what this one is. I don't want to see the edge yet, and... <gasps> oh my god! It's... It's a signed copy of The Sun and the Star. And by the way, if y'all haven't noticed yet, or if you all don't know yet, um, this is this book is also a Rainbow Crates um May pick. So I'm excited to get that one because they have an alternate jacket for The Sun and the Star. So, oh, I love it. And, ooh. So this is a signed copy, it's not a special edition. Oh, come on. That's a huge bummer for me. Ugh, annoying. But I love this like holographic thingy that's happening there on the cover. And this is the spine. Oh, mm -hmm. it has a spot glossing as well, and I guess. And here we go, here's the back. Now let's take a look at the naked kaba. Oh, so by the way, if you all know one, if you all want to know the synopsis for this one, just pause this video right here, right there. Oh, and so that's one flap, and this is the other flap. And that's Rick Riordan and Mark Oshiro, who is, by the way, non-binary or gender non-confirming. So, and, uh, it's just a signed copy, I guess, so nothing special going on. <sighs> I'm a little bit bummed, so that's the front. Here's the spine. Let's just do it quickly, because nothing special. No edges. Mm -hmm. Boring! <laughs> Boring! So, ooh! So it has this. It has, like, what do you call this one again? Oh, map. 
a map. And, oh, okay. Here we go. They both signed it. Is it hand signed? Or like, are they like, uh, yep, hand signed, I believe. By the looks of it, because it bled through the next page. And also, oh, this is Rick Riordan's, and this is Mark Oshiro's. Mm -hmm. That's it! Like, mm, okay. Should I be, should I read this edition instead? Uh, I don't know. We'll see. So yeah, I guess this is a royal hard pack edition, something of the sort. So yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, I've seen better special editions. The only thing that is special about this one is it's signed. That's it. No more, no less. Now that this um, special edition uh, is done, let's get to a more interesting one. Okay, here we go! Alright, and if you all have noticed, this is quite a different kind of box. Because, um, I guess Dazzling Bookish Shop changed their boxes. So, I was quite surprised when I caught this too. Because I was, like, used to the, um, what do you call that? That white box. And this is honestly, like, a lot cleaner. So, yeah. I forgot which one this is. It's either, um, an order of mine or, um, from my subscription, monthly subscription. But... We'll see in a moment, so let's get down to it. Whew. That was pretty quick, if I'm going to be honest, because they only like taped a portion of it, and I love it because it's a quick unboxing. So here we go. What's in? Oh, okay. The Witch and the Vampire. What month is this? Huh. So, oh, they don't have the trinket yet. Go reach in the vampire. I guess it is March. The March pops are could be. So I believe this is like um sapphic. If I'm mistaken. Uh, oh, yeah, it is sapphic. Duh. So yeah, this is like, what do you call that again? The book plate fell off. <laughs> I guess it was wedged inside, like the book. So yeah, this will still go inside the UV sanitizer. So let's put it to the side first. And this is their like, addition, the Dazzling Bookish Shop um, alternate cover or additional cover, if you may, um, by Francesca Flores. That's so darn cute. I guess this is inspired by a Buffy the Vampire Slayer or something. So yeah. And oh, it has foiling on it. Silver foiling, if you may. And this is the spine. And oh, gorge. The silver and the purple matches like I love. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's so darn large. Now, let's take a look at the flaps before we get to like um the OG cover. And oh, so if y'all want to know the synopsis of this one, just pause this video right here. Oh, so that's one of the flaps, and here is the other flap. Oh my goodness, I hope I'm not ruining anything. Ah! Come on. Come on, child. And, oh. Oh, so that's Jessica. Uh, not Jessica. It's Francesca Flores. And... Francesca uses she, her pronouns. Oh, Diamond City and Shadow City. Jacket. Okay, jacket design, but okay. Daz oh, I love that. They included this one now. Perfect. Brava. Wow. So, here we go. Let's compare it to the OG cover. So, which one do you all think is better? 
because I am simping for this one, the, the one on the left. Like, that's a whole lot better than this one, if I'm going to be honest. So, just take a look at it. It's like mot, not mot, but matte. Doesn't have spot glossing, nor does it have any gold foiling. So, that's a minus, and see? It's just matte, period. That's it. So, y'all saw the synopsis already. Oh, same picture. And let's now take a look at the naked copper. And, oh, oh! I love, at least, they included, like, um, embossing on the naked cover. Can y'all see that? Mm-hmm. Perf, right? Perfect, and this is, oh, we saw a glimpse of it, but oh, that's a lot better. That's a really cute spine, I love, and nothing much going on on the back. So, here we go, let's take a look at the edges now, and is it black? Yep, that's black on the top side, and oh, black, also black on the bottom side. And the piece de resistance, if you may. Oh, oh, oh my god, this is the best part of this video. Like, look at, let's take a look at it closer. Oh my goodness. Oh, you know what? Let's try and do this. <laughs> so that the focus is on, like, the edge itself instead. That is so quarge. I love that. Oh my goodness. This is one of the best ever. Like, come on. Come on, y'all can't tell me that it ain't. Because it is. So, that's so darn quarge. So, oh, where's the book plate again? Oh, here we go. So I guess this will go inside here. Oh, by the way, speaking of hmm, MLS and N, I guess she's polyamorous, or it could be like relatives or friends only. So if this is like from, um, what do you call that again? The monthly subscription did. Where's the author letter? Like, where is it? Huh, I have to contact Dazzling about this one. So, I hope you all liked watching this special episode of Out of the Book Box. And if you all liked watching this video, please do give me a thumbs up. Or if you did not, please be completely honest with it. And do give me a thumbs down plus a feedback in the comment section. Also, you all could follow me on all of my social media accounts. That would be Bookstagram, BookTwitter, and BookTok. And they all have the same handle, at Reimskiweeds. But please take note that I am mostly active on Bookstagram. Again, this is Raimski asking you people, begging you people to please hunt, discover, and read those queer books. Queer?